Now we're going to be going over the surface anatomy for the leg. So this is a left leg. This would be the anterior surface. This would be medial. This would be lateral. Okay, so we're starting with the quadricep muscles. So these are your thighs. So think back to quadriceps. You did this back in AP1. You had your hot dog in the bun. You had your rectus femoris, vastus medialis, vastus lateralis, and then underneath the rectus femoris, you had the vastus intermedius. Outright. So now, again, this muscle group is the quadriceps. Then we can turn it on its side, and these inner muscles are called the adductor muscle group. Then all the way over, this group on the back of your thighs is called the hamstring muscle group. This is your gastrocnemius, and it's both of these muscles. So nice, pretty calf muscle. Okay, so let's do those muscle groups one more time. We have gastrocnemius, hamstrings, adductor muscle group, quadricep muscle group. Okay, so now we're going to move on to a couple of other structures. So let's move the leg to the side again. Okay, so this area is called the femoral triangle. And much like the Bermuda Triangle, you do not want to be near this area. We avoid this area. Now, as you can see, we have a femoral artery, femoral vein, femoral nerve that are all very close to the surface. So you avoid this area. Now, Let's move on down here. And this little red guy is the posterior tibial artery. So right here is the posterior tibial artery. And now we're down here by the ankle. So this is the inside of your ankle. And that is called the medial malleolus. And then we have the outside of your ankle, and this one is the lateral malleolus. Then all the way to the back, and the backside of the knee, that is the popliteal fossa, and we can find the popliteal artery down in there. So popliteal fossa, popliteal artery down in there. Okay, so let's go over those. We have the femoral triangle, which we want to avoid because of the surface femoral artery, vein, and nerve. Down here, we can see the posterior tibial artery the medial malleolus, the lateral malleolus, and then all the way on the back, we have the popliteal fossa, the popliteal artery, and the last thing we do on this leg is an injection site. Okay, so intramuscular injections. So we call these IM injection. So when giving an IM injection, we have three commonly used places. This is the first one we talk about, and it is the vastus lateralis. So it is one of those quadricep muscles. Now this is the one that's commonly used with children. Okay, and the reason why is they move quickly and they have a lot of strength. And if you have to pop a vaccine or pop an antibiotic shot, you can fairly be safe anywhere in this area. You don't want to do that elsewhere because then you could hit a nerve or a blood vessel. 
That's why this is nice and fat muscle and we don't see any nerves or arteries around to damage. Now we'll talk about the other two injection sites on other videos.